Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. Please click the link below. Support our sponsor, Pro Pure Water Purification Systems. Grab a new water pitcher today. I've been sent one. It's awesome. I use it every single day. Water is crystal clear, tastes great. Check it out. Click that link below right now. <laughs> Good afternoon, Wednesday, November 3rd, 2010. I'm Christopher Green, and you're watching Green Wave Capital. Another fantastic day for Washington, another fantastic day for Wall Street. The Republicans took the House of Congress by majority and made very large gains in the Senate, with the Democrats still edging out a majority. But big changes are ahead of us, folks. Big, big changes. And the most important news of the day, how much will Ben Bernanke unload onto the U.S. economy? Is it 500 billion? Could it be 600 billion? 700? Could it be, my God, 1 trillion dollars? Well, the answer to that question will be in the next couple of hours and we will find out exactly what that number is. All I do know for sure is that this country and this economy is in the most robust, the most rewarding recovery that we have ever seen in U.S. history. In fact, I hope you bought the dip a few days ago, folks, because if you did not, we are now entering the greatest bull market. Get on board. In another fantastic news, Senator Judd Gregg, Republican out of New Hampshire, made a statement today that said... More fantastic news, Senator. I like your style. He said we've had a radical explosion in the size of government in the last two years. We've gone from 20% GDP to 24%, headed towards 28% of GDP, almost a third of the national gross domestic product. That has to be brought under control, or basically we're going to bankrupt the country. More fantastic news, more evidence of the strong recovery ahead. And if the revised real GDP print of 1.6% for the third quarter of this year is any indication, although typically coming out of a recovery post-recessionary trough, real GDP is anywhere from 4 to 6% post-World War II, many mainstream economists think that with a real GDP print of 1.6%, it might be enough to at least feed one or two small Somalian families. <laughs> And another fantastic news, we have a brand new song from a new emerging artist writing up the Billboard Top 100 charts titled F*** the Fed. Because guys, if you can't join them, F*** them. In other startling news, mortgage refinancing demand dropped despite low rates. We now have the 30-year fixed rate mortgage at approximately 4% range and still absolutely zero demand. In fact, I read a report yesterday from Case Schiller Index which said they expect on a national scale prices to drop another 6% in U.S. residential real estate. We have already peaked to drop 50% in states such as Arizona, Las Vegas, California, and Florida. That is very robust for the country and very robust for our recovery. In other uplifting news, Freddie Mac posts a $4.1 billion loss for the quarter. In fact, things are so good in the mortgage securitization market that they estimate that they only need an additional $100 million in federal aid. Well, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, I'm sure you'll get the aid that you need because we've got Ben Bernanke coming out today. And again, what will that number be? The price is right. In another uplifting news, Bill Gross, president and founder of PIMCO, Pacific Investment Management Corporation, based out of Newport Beach, California. In fact, one of my best friends works just next door and has met Bill Gross before. He also runs the largest bond fund in the world, provides much of the liquidity to the bond fund market, likened to the U.S. Federal Reserve to a giant Ponzi scheme. Well, Bill, I want to thank you for your great comments. You've instilled quite an amount of confidence in my viewers and this country on a whole.
again for the Green Wave Capital question of the day. Post your answers below. Who do you think is better in bed, Ben Bernanke or Sheila Bear? I'm Christopher Green. This is Green Wave Capital, and I approve this message.